let us look at how to set take profit when trading forex. Now, a take profit is a preset forex trading order that enables traders to execute the market automatically at a given profit. Now, when a take profit order triggers, it simply means that the trader is in profit that's on the by, uh, on the approximate, okay, <laughs> because it depends on the size of the fees. At times, when there is a, what we call it a rollover, and the rollover is much and is negative, it may override the take profit. Exactly for those that who that take profit most of the time five pips or six pips or seven pips. But when you take profit, uh, take profits around 10, 20, 40 pips and above, then you usually overcome the rollover effect. So. I say that a take profit is a preset forex trading order that enables traders to exit the market automatically at a given profit. So it is very useful in trade management and it should be set most of the time before entering the market. Now let us practically look at how it works. Now I'm going to teach you how to set take profit for long position and for short position. Let's start with long position. Long means, when you open a long position, that means you are buying, you are buying this instrument. So we want to buy this particular instrument now, which is USDJPY, US dollar slash Japanese yen. <coughs> uh, we want to enter at the market price, that is at the, we want to execute the position at the market price. The current market price now is 109.573. So to place our trade, we come to this section and play, uh, click new order. Want to buy? If you click buy now, we are only entering the market without stop profit, without stop loss. I've already created a video on how to set stop loss order. So this particular video, the scope here is how to set take profit. So want to buy? So want to set the take profit? Let's say our take profit is on the peaks. I want to set a take profit of 100 pips. You can set for 5 pips, 10 pips, 20 pips, 80 pips, 100 pips, 500 pips, depending on your, uh, depending on your analysis. Okay, so now we're entering at this price is 100 pips take profit. So 100 pips, when we are buying, that is when you open a long position, your take profit tips is going to be added to the entry price. We're going to add the number of pips to the entry price. So the, the entry price is 109.573. So our take profit is going to be 100 pips plus 109. And that's going to be 110. So we're going to have 110.573. So that is... The take profit. So if we place the order buy the market and the trade goes in our favor and the take profit order triggers, at the end of the day it means we have gained 100 pips. If we are trading 0.1 lot, that's $100. If we are trading one standard lot, that's $1,000. All right, so that is what it means. So that is how to set take profit when opening a long position you add the number of pips to the entry price if you want to set a take profit of 20 pips using the same uh, creating the same long position we are just going to add 20 to this price and that will be 57 plus 20 that is 77 so our price is going to be 109.773 so when we click our buy and the order is triggered, then at the end of the day, if, if market goes in our favor, then we are going to come out of the market with a profit of 20 pips. So that's how to set take profit order for long position. Okay, now I want to see how to set for short position. Now on the short, we still come here again, right? Then look at the take profit section. We are setting okay, we are setting a take profit of 100 pips. But this time around we are selling. So we are going to sell the market. Okay. 
okay, if we want to sell, then our take profit has to be subtracted from the entry price. Take note of that. When you are selling, the take profit pips is going to be subtracted from the entry price. So the entry price is 109.573. So take profit of 100 pips is going to be taken away. It's going to be taken away, subtracted from the entry price. So take 100 from 109.573 is going to be 108. It's going to be 108.573. So you are taking away the stop loss of what? One. I'm sorry. You are taking away 100 p from the entry price. You are taking away 100 p from the entry price. So now that is now 108.573. So that's our take profit. So you take it away. I have this. So when price falls from 109.573 down to 108.573, then our take profit order will trigger, which means we have gained 100 pips from the falling market, from the bearish market, from the down trend. So you understand the concept now? The sellers make money when price is falling. The buyers make money when price is rising. So, if you want to sell take profit in this, and you want to sell take profit of 100 pips, and you have sold the market, then it must be a subtraction. You're going to subtract that 100 pips, subtract it from the entry price. So, you know now that it is important that you know your entry price, so that you can subtract your pips. You understand something here? We have predetermined two things. We know our entry price and we know how many pips our stop loss is going to be. Maybe 50 pips. That's when you know the quantity of your stop loss. You know the quantity of your stop loss. Is it 50? Is it 100? Is it 20? Is it 30? Now, if you, the quantity of your stop loss is 100 pips, good. Sorry, uh, we're not looking at stop loss in this regard. We're looking at take profit. So, sorry for the confusion. Take profit. So you know the quantity of what your take profit is going to be. So if the quantity of your take profit is going to be 100 pips, then you are going to subtract it from the entry price because you are selling. You are subtracting the quantity of the take profit from the entry price because you are selling. You are subtracting the quantity of take profit from the entry price because you are selling. If you are buying, you are going to add the quantity of your take profit to the entry price. If you are buying, you are going to add the quantity of take profit to the entry price. So this is the entry price for instance. And we are selling, so we are going to subtract 100 pips from it and we get 108. If you are selling a take profit of 20 pips, you are simply going to subtract 20 pips from 109.57 and that's going to be 109, this time around, 109.373. So that's what it's going to be because now you are setting a take profit of 20 pips and you are selling. So you have to subtract from the entry price when setting take profit for a short position. And you have to add to the entry price when setting take profit for long position. I think I've made enough uh, remarks on this uh, particular concept. Uh, I think now you know how to take profit for long and short positions. I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. Please check out my useful links on the description page of this video. Most of, those useful, uh, most of those links are my referral links where I make money, where you take action on them. I think you'll be happy if I make money as I'm also helping you now. I thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you in my next video. Once again, thank you.